You're oh come on. Oh my god, <laughs> so much got blood. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that much blood blood spray in this helmet. game. Hello friends, it's your buddy Nick here with Game with the Guys. And me, David, from the previous one. <laughs> this is Dave from At The Buzzer Show. So if you watched the first episode, Dave has never played Dark Souls 1, and he enjoyed it. So we're going to play a little bit more. So, Dave, have at it. I'm ready. And I'm see, I'm ready, ready to go with that shield out. Yeah, that looks like a badass shield. It does I'm, kinda... I'm, I'm sure your starting gear will definitely fulfill you throughout the game. All right. Okay, so let's go talk to this guy over here, because he looks like he's wearing some sort of futuristic suit. It's Chainmail. Wow, oh, what do we it looks futuristic. Here? It looks blue. You must be. He a says some important rival. stuff. I'll tell you when, though. Let me I'll just tell you when that's the Fate important the stuff. Undead, I figure you'll stop talking right? when that happens. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not the first. It's uh. But there's no salvation let's here. Let's see. He mentions the. You'd have done better. Undead asylum. The undead asylum. Oh, that's where but you just came from. Too, oh, but, but I got out. Yeah, I beat so you're free. Uh, well, since you're okay, here, okay. Now he's gonna say important stuff. Okay. There are actually. Two bells of awakening. What? Oscar only one mentioned one. Oh no! On that church. That means the I can human again, right? Far, far uh, eventually. Below, yes. In the ruins at the base of Blight You can be human Town. right now. Oh. So bring them both. One, one is up above, and one's down below in Blight Town. Brilliant. Oh, right. Easy enough. Not much to go on. Easy, easy peasy. Oh, it sounds easy, but I bet I've got you. a lot of guys trying to stop so, me. Oh yeah, oh, there's going to be a lot of guys in your way. Is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead. Oh, here's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. Well, anyway, he told <laughs> you the first bit of information you need to know. You need to ring the bells of awakening. And one's up above and one's down below. Alright. So, that's what we know. I can't take this. What is that? Those are little messages. You'll, you'll actually get... Um, it's called an orange soap sign. And that allows you to um, write messages... And to rate them. Hmm. This uh, says pillage corpse, and I'm I've got other images in my mind when oh, the position whoa. that he's in. So and I'm that, just gonna uh, run away. Yeah, that little loincloth didn't really cover a whole lot up. Didn't do much. To oh boy, I have choices now. Uh, they don't all go anywhere. I mean, one of them does. But back here, bum, ba, da, da. I found stuff. Firebombs! Sweet. Uh, so I imagine I can equip that to my top. What okay. what it does, actually, is it'll automatically equip items in, in there. So I usually get really annoyed by that. If you hit R1, that'll go into your equipment there. Okay. And so right now you've got your um, Divine Blessing, you've got some Humanity, and you've got Firebombs equipped. Um, and honestly, I would take off everything but the Estus. <laughs> That's usually... So just hit the uh, square button and that'll remove it. Got it. There you go. And so when you have multiple things there, if you hit down on the D-pad, that'll switch through your yep. through your items. And remember, Dave, square button uses your item. It does not attack. It attack! Yeah, the, the R1, the R2, the L1, the L2, those, those work your arms. <laughs> so... I'll eventually get that. Oh, hey, Nick taught me about this. Just yeah, I, we were I, entering. I taught you how to use the gesture already. <laughs> so, imminent dark. Okay, cool. So, some of these messages around here are the developer messages, like the one that said uh, the select to uh -huh. gesture. And then other people will either try to give you hints by laying things down on the ground. Hello! Oh, he um, <laughs> he or that. sometimes people will try to troll uh, hello you. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. No, I am Petrus quite fat, of Thurland. He Have is a fatty. With us? <laughs> if not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Cool. <laughs> Peace out. Smashy, smashy. The, uh, there's, um, there's durability to your weapons. Oh, okay. So, so I shouldn't be smashing these. No, I mean, like, it's not really something that you're going to run into a problem with, um, unless you, like, never repair your stuff. Uh, so it's better to just roll through them. Just use the circle button and just roll through like that. That is better. And uh, in this game, it's not as common for there to be stuff hiding in there. You'll you'll usually be able to see like a little bit of the aura of like an item. The glow. Yeah, the little glow. The little it looks like a little a little spectral thing. Um, but I love to smash things yeah, so much. Yeah. Well, I I do too. <laughs> I I totally get it. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I'm good. That eventually will become a shortcut. I see. So right now it's it's not. You haven't you haven't opened it up yet. There's a. Uh... Ooh, I have a soul. Yep. Oh, you know what you should do? You've got two thousand four hundred and forty souls. You should get some levels. Oh yeah, I can do that at the bonfire. Correct. I could have done that before we ended the last one, but we yeah. Ended. So let's uh, let's get you to get some levels before you go and uh, die and lose all your souls, and then have to go get them back. Right. Well, it's, it's it's better to just spend them. Yes. Just spend them now. Spend them like like I haven't a care in the world. Rested bonfire. We will level up. And what are we gonna? Do? So right now you've got two hundred four. Er, 2,440 souls, and your required souls for a level are 724. Every time you get a level, the amount of required souls goes up. That makes sense. So. so. Oh, wait. And also, you'll see in blue, when you when you level something up, you'll see how that affects your stats. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everything that you put a level on is going to increase your defenses. Too much. So yeah, you can get three levels right now. So however you want to use Let's that. Do a little strength, a little endurance, because I, you know that I. Yeah. So one thing that's really important with endurance, as you'll see up the the center column, third one from the top is equipment load. Yep. And so as you increase your equipment load, you can use heavier, better stuff. So I tend to like I tend to use lightweight stuff because I like to be able to roll very quickly and if your equipment load if you that equipment load is the maximum amount of stuff that you can have equipped mm -hmm. and if you stay below 50 percent of that you'll roll at a medium rate and that's what you're rolling at now if you keep it below a quarter of that that number you'll actually roll much faster all right well i'm rolling with this all right so hit accept if that's what you want confirm reinforce ha 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 you can't go back now Okay. You really can't. No, you, you're fine. You're doing okay. Okay. Thank you for your insurance or assurance of that. All right. And any viewers that we've kept this long want to see you fight something. So. Uh, oh, really? Let's, yeah. Let's go fight something. Yeah, let's go fight something. Uh, it's a lot of water. That is some water. Don't worry. It's not too deep. You can get through there. Thank you. I'm so glad. Uh, and it looks like this led to nowhere. Nope. Doesn't really go much anywhere. Fantastic. Oh! My okay. wife texted me. Uh -oh. I have to text her back. Newly married Nick. Still yep. counts as new, right? I've been married for almost a month. No, I've been married for over a month now. Oh my god. Viewers at home, I've been married for a year and a half now. <laughs> we're, still, we're still young bucks in this marriage game. Yeah. So you already ran up here. I did, and I almost fell off. Now, do you want me to suggest a direction? Yes, because I seem to have no no direction. Head back down like you're going to go to the bonfire. But you're going to make a left turn when you see the bonfire. So, Let's see. So head on down there. Back this and That way. wasn't the left turn. Keep going. Like, keep going like you're going to run off the edge of this cliff over here. And once you get through this door, kind of turn to the left a little bit. A little bit more and there's a little path there you can go up uh -huh. and this is where the developers intend for you to go danger zone <laughs> there's there's enemies up here so if you hold up I'm gonna give you a little hint real quick now mm -hmm. ho hold your shield up and walk closer to this guy and he's gonna try to hit you and he's gonna bounce off your shield that leaves him wide open for an attack you mean parry? I've never heard of that. Oh wait, yes I have. You can, you can. <laughs> whoa, that guy just jumped off the cliff. Fantastic so, move. Oh, oh you that. just got hit by a firebomb. I thought I had actually uh, got him. And you can, oh, you can also parry guys' attacks. Be careful. This is on the ledge. You're about to go off. I'm good. It's <laughs> fine. Everything is fine. Nothing's broken. <laughs> Woo! I was really worried. I was super duper worried. That I have to run back and get my soul. Hey. Yeah, you're not too far in. You're okay. Oh, Whoa. Wrong way. You did your little jump attack there. Ha! <laughs> Slash his leg. And, uh. Oh, I already killed him. Cool. What does he have? I bet he has a firebomb. Yep. Oh, weird. And then I shoved his corpse off the bot. Yeah, there's the... ragdoll physics in this game, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> 
I can imagine that being a lot of fun after a while. Hey, I'm gonna throw you off. Ah, you missed. You suck. Yep. Oh. So, whoop. Sweet, I think I, so, I thought I had them on my sword. Yeah, you can play soccer with their uh, their dead bodies here. Their undead bodies. Their undead bodies. These these guys are called hollows. Yes, that's right. And um, so they and and Dark Souls too. They kind of play with it a little bit. How someone ends up going hollow, and a lot of times, um, what happens is somebody has kind of a. Uh, Basically, they lose their will to live. And it's not so much that they are suicidal, so much as like maybe they had like a purpose that they had and they've either achieved it or they've lost it. And so that will a lot of times turn um, people with the, the curse of the hollowing that'll, that'll, force, that'll make them go hollow. And the more hollow you get, a lot of times you go crazy. Do you see that guy up there? Yeah. So what that is, that's another player and playing in, we'll say, a parallel universe. Interesting. And so you'll actually see other players, the, like the ghosts of them, like playing the game just like you're playing the game. Hmm. So, Is it like a fully online type of game? Yeah. You know, it's, it's online, but it's kind of a, a um, passive online. So there's, there will be times where it is full on, you are doing co-op. Or even PvP. Hmm. Um, oh, hello. Oh, it's like I can hear him walking up behind you. I didn't want to say anything. You suck. <laughs> Man, I always think they're not dead because their their status bar still has something on it. Well, it kind of it kind of drains kind of slowly. Yeah. So. Oh boy, I get to smash everything. So much smashing, <laughs> smashy, smashy, smashy. And uh, there's something here. Uh, strike. Cool. I'm wondering if that rating means anything, because it says... Oh, okay. Means... Well, I'll tell you. Um, so what happens um, when you get your orange soap stone, soap stone, you can leave one of those messages, and other people can come along and they can rate your message. So if you're giving people clues, like if somebody said, oh, check behind the stairs for treasure, you know, obviously... Um, oh, here, touch the blood stain again. Try to. Now, kind of... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you want me to... Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, no. So... I have to pass it on to touch a blood stain. No, no, no. Well, what you'll see, when you touch a blood stain, it will show you someone's ghost of right... Happened right before they died. So uh, that person probably fell off the cliff there. But, um... Let me go back to this message. This is Nick playing right now. Oh, no, the message is gone. But anyway, you can leave a message and it'll say, like, treasure ahead or something. And if somebody finds it useful, they can uprate your message. And so what that'll do is um, when a message is rated highly, then other people will know that it's useful. But what it does for you as the person that left the message is it will heal you completely and instantly. Oh, fantastic. Um, so it doesn't really do you a lot of good if you're... If you're not online when somebody rates it, but oh. um, okay. Remember when you were asking about dragons? Yeah, they exist. Yeah, that's one. That is actually called the Hellkite Drake. I see. So that oh, that's a high rating for that merchant that's ahead. I yes, see. there is a merchant ahead. That that message speaks the truth. But also, you know, people will leave trolling messages, and you're about to croak. Yep. Oh, I thought I hit the button in time. Well, boy. Now I have to go back and get it. Oh, well. Okay, so we've run back here. Dave needs to get his glowing green blood stain. And hopefully he won't let all these idiots hack away at him the way that he did before. Did you learn anything, Dave? Not really. Okay, that sucks for you. Oh, you learned how to use an Estus flask. What? I've used it again. Why are you using that button? Because I am losing my mind right now. Okay. And, and croaked again. again. Well, wow. you lost all your souls from last time. That's the bad news. The good news is, there weren't a lot. <laughs> okay, Dave. This time you're going to do it. Third time's a charm, what, right? What, I'm going to give you a little advice here. And I want you to aggro these guys and then back the fuck off and fight them one at a time. And this, this archer's getting you. So go down these stairs. These guys are going to follow you. Perfect. There you go. 
and you got all of them at once. And that makes it nice when you have a big broad swing like that. Okay. And this guy doesn't stand much of a chance. Oh, that's the kick. Why are you trying to kick him? Why not? Okay. <laughs> when a guy has a shield up, that's a really good way to break his guard, and then you can attack him that way. Ah, oh, uh, you missed it, bastard. You recovered! You picked up your souls that you lost. Alright, open up. So, if you go around the corner there, there's an item. Wrong corner, that corner. Ooh, a wooden shield. Now, would that be better than my current shield? Well, go in this room real quick. I, I want to remind you, you can't pause this game, so you want to be somewhere safe when you do something like that. Uh -huh. So hit the start button, okay. and go to your equipment there, and highlight your, your shield. Now, just scroll up to that one, and let me... If you hit triangle here, this will show you some of your stats. It'll compare them. So... It doesn't do the same amount of physical block, but it is better magic block and better lightning block. But obviously it's wooden. The fire block isn't as good. Strange. Um, All right. So now, like, tap down. Let's see. This, I don't know. I would stick with the heater shield. It's, Sounds right. It's pretty lightweight. It's got decent stability for what it is, and it does 100% physical block. And right now, a lot of the guys aren't really doing anything other than, than physical damage. So Works for me. So kill that fucking archer. Yeah. Well, he's a crossbowman. A crossbowman. <gasps> he's a, he has a little ah, bit more hit. Ah, he's still going to shoot a crossbow at me from two feet away? All he right, has cool. more hit points. And they also have Estus flasks. Oh, interesting. Mommy's home. Oh, you are not going to hurt me, Mr. Axeman. Oh, two Axemen. Oh, nice! You ran them both through with one shot. Ooh, you blocked. He likes to hide behind that shield. This would be... Oh, wait. Wait for him to hit. Oh. oh. I was trying to go around him. Well. You died. All right. Well. <laughs> uh, my wife just got home. But anyway. Um... So I, uh, I had to point Dave out to this spot right here so that uh, our runbacks won't take so long. And so you can rest here, and now this will be where you recover from the next time after you inevitably die. Hey. Like, everybody dies in this game. There's, uh, in, in Dark Souls 2, there's actually a, a very special um, reward you get if you get through the game without dying. And... Honestly, I don't know how that's possible. I remember you. Oh, jeez. Oh, fire, 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 fire from the sky. Fire from the sky. Run Get out away. of there. Well, the run back's not so far. <laughs> well, then. I was trying to get in the room, and it did not work. Remember, all the bad guys are back. All of them. Oh, there's all my soul them. right there. And like these guys guy. are here. They want to they wanna fuck you up. Oh. <laughs> Way but, to go, me. Turned right into it. That's uh, one of the reasons why the lock-on is good. Um, so that you'll you, you'll block them when they when they swing at you or Strange. shoot at you. So there's your dead body. You got all your souls back. There you go. Yeah, lure these guys out. Unfortunately, those fire bombs won't hurt that guy. And I think that shield bash that he does that'll actually uh, knock down your got shield. Him. So it's a good thing that you. Oh. Did you notice uh, when when you killed that guy, you, the smoke usually when you kill a guy kind of goes into you and it's like a white smoke. You'll see when you kill one of these guys. So you'll see the smoke that yeah. goes is white. But that last guy that you killed, the smoke was black. And so what that does, <laughs> um, that's an old souls troll thing there. Um, gotcha. But when the, when the smoke is black, you actually gain what is called a soft humanity. And if you look in your, your top left there, that used to say zero, zero. Now oh, it says O one. Oh, one. So now you have some humanity. Um, and what that allows you to do is when you're at the bonfire, you can reverse hollowing. And that'll make you human. Oh, sweet. So being human has upside and downside. 
The upside is that you can call on people to help you with boss battles or to finish levels. But the downside is you can be invaded by guys also. Hmm. So when you're in hollow state, you don't have to worry about being invaded, but you can't call on help from anyone to, uh, to assist you. So ups and downs, lefts and rights. Good timing there. Yeah, it's just early. Hey, I got something here. Hollow Warrior Waistcloth. I promise you what you're wearing is better. Okay. <laughs> Based on the fact that it was a waist cloth, I was pretty sure I was okay on that. Yeah. Hit that X button. Oh. Oh, boy. Two of those guys. There's three. Three of them. All right. Oh, there's two there. I thought there was a third one. He's high. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's shooting me from behind. Fantastic. Okay, this is bad. And I'm dead. Let me give you a hand. Okay, back at it. Now. So, uh, remember that archer that shot you in the back of the yeah, head? Why don't you take here, care of that I'm guy? Gonna guess. He's actually not that way, but there are those those over here is where those guys were throwing the firebombs at you. Oh. Well. And if you're lucky... Oh, go walk very slowly. Be very quiet, David. We're hunting wabbits. We are hunting wabbits. With the, uh, it's, it's the R1 that'll allow you to do backstabs. Oh. That explains that. Yep. Well, I mean, you, you did literally stab him in the back, but, you know. <laughs> I didn't backstab, though. You didn't get the, the backstab animation or anything. Well, fine. He's dead anyway. That's yeah, I mean, it, it worked. It worked. Let's see. I think there's stuff over here. There's or not. Or not. Womp womp. Okay. Well, I have some bad news for you. I'm at a dead end. You're a one-way path. So, and... look down, read message. <laughs> I don't know what it says. I can't take this. Yeah, I can't either. No, no, no. You're, you're actually right above where you, uh, where you were before. So, I can drop down so yeah, you can drop time. down right there. It's going to hurt a little bit, but just a little bit. Oh, I remember there was a treasure chest in here. Yeah, why didn't you open it? Because I didn't realize it was actually a treasure chest. What did you think it was? Uh, I don't know. I thought I smashed everything that I could smash. Well, you know, I, the treasure so, chest. <laughs> so those are black fire bombs. They are um, racist. They're, no, you know, <laughs> they're they're equal opportunist, but um, they're more powerful than the standard fire bombs. And if you remember in the uh, in the character creation, one of the options for a a gift, quote unquote, are you gonna are you gonna let that archer shoot you in the head? No. Do you know where he is? No, probably Look, up there in the bell tower. Here. There you go. <laughs> He's just waiting there. You're oh come on! Oh my god! <laughs> so much got blood! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that much blo I blood spray in this game. You, you, you are wearing one. He shot you in the face though. Like turn toward the camera. Yeah, there's there's plenty of room for him to sh to get an arrow I in there. I suppose. I'm glad I'm undead. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So then. So not there's your there's your dead body. Oh boy. So, if you can get these guys one at a time, that's going to be your best bet. They're kind of charging you, though. Yes, they are. Alright. I probably should have stabbed him there. Oh, that guy healed. Now you're back to square one. Oh no. Oh, that nice. Was a good one. That was a great shot. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Well, now you got them separated. Gotta keep them separated. That was stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry. well, that's an old reference. But, Ooh, you know. <laughs> that felt good. That there felt you go. real good. Now you can go claim your corpse. Cool. All right, recover my lost power. I recover. You recovered. I can't take that. Was this. the second time they've said that? Yeah, you'll see a lot of repeat stuff. Be wary of trap. There's a trap. There I is see a somebody trap. up there. I see you. How's and going? here comes the trap. Run away! Oh, you evaded it. Well done. Now this guy's like, oh, fuck, I missed you. Now I gotta what chop, am I gonna I gotta do? chop you off. Here I come. Ugh. There you go. All right, okay. Oh, he I left you a present. This. Left you a present. What is that? Ooh, Titanite Shard. That, that is actually... Like better. That's a crafting material. And ah. so when you get to a blacksmith, you can have him use that to um, increase the uh, the power of your weapons and armor. 
Sniper spot. And there's so. there's different types of Titanite, and you'll see that in the future. Here's some barrels. I thought I saw something back behind that. They appear to just be storing dust. That's a really good use for the barrels. Well, you know. Oh, wait. All right, up the stairs. More barrels. Whoa, this looks familiar. All right, I'm not going to smash them. No, you should smash them. Man, the one that I say Go I'm get not that thing. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Down, 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 down. Get that. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Target. Target him in and stab him with R2s. Follow him. Use R2s. There you go. Keep following him. Keep getting him. Get him. There you go. That is called a crystal lizard. And he, when you kill one of those, it gives you the crafting materials, the titanite. Ah. And so he just gave you twinkling titanite. And that's used for, like, more special weapons. Like, the stuff that you're wearing all right now is going to be using your standard titanite to, uh, to equip it. Or to, uh, to improve it. But then there's going to be items you're going to find later that use the twinkling titanite instead. I see. All right. Well... So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little hint right now because I care. I'm glad you care. Well, he just died quickly. Okay, turn around. Don't go too far. Uh -huh. Look to your left a little bit. Okay, go that way. Turn right. Do you see anything there? Oh, there's a ladder. Interesting. Yep. I'm imagining there's somebody up there who's going to shoot me. Oh, yeah, there's guys up here that are going to shoot you. So, roll. <laughs> And these guys are kind of cool because they have both the, uh... Oh, get out of there! Heal! I got lucky, I think. <laughs> um, so these guys, they don't have shields, but they, they have crossbows and the longsword. So they're kind of, they're kind of a, a cool one that they can switch up their weapon like that. Ah. So, uh, yeah, just a hint. Use your Estus Flask. Thank you. Yeah, that would have been really bad if I... Uh... Oh, I'll give you... Oh, well, usually you climb down ladders, <laughs> but I was going to teach you the fast way to get down that's not dropping. Oh, see, I thought I just jumped. So, yeah. Well, it works <laughs> as, long as, as long as it's not too far. So, that... Uh -oh. oh, boy, here we go. Welcome to the first boss. This is the Taurus Demon. Taurus Demon. It looks kind of... Oh, well, boy. be careful. You can fall off the edge. Fantastic. And, oh, you dodged his attack there. Very good, very good. Boom. And I, I see you've kind of, you're starting to build a strategy here. Well. Run away! See, yeah, lock-on can kind of fuck you up sometimes, too. Yeah, I see too. that. Well. So it reset everything. The the Taurus Demon will jump back out the same way that he did before. But um, you need to trigger him. But get rid of these guys first so they don't snipe you while you're while you're in the battle. Hey. They're just doing their job, man. They're meant to they're meant to mess you up. <laughs> nice <laughs> I nice. take that okay. both of you. Use X to climb down the ladder. Oh, you mean it'll, X. It'll prompt you. Here you go. It'll prompt you. Now, stand still. Hold down circle. And you slide down. Much safely. Better. Safely. Instead of losing a bunch of life. Right. Alrighty, there's where I'm So now the Taurus Demon is going to come for you. Now, hold on a sec. Look in your look in your equipment real quick. And see if there's just anything you want to like change up or use against him or... I'd probably throw a firebomb at him. You can, yeah, you should, you should try that out. I Actually, go back to your equipment real quick. And just go to the souls there and just hit at, or hit uh, square. Square. Yeah, and just get rid of those. So, yeah, try throwing a firebomb at him. And so, hit circle again. You're still in the menu. There we go. So now you have that selected. Um, and it'll kind of just lob it like a, like a grenade. So if you use lock on it, it'll throw it at him. But if he's too far away, you're not going to reach him, so... There you go. Oh. Oh, it hit him. It hit him. You got him for 181. You got him again. And you're getting backed up into a wall here, so... You're going to probably have to switch sides with him. There you go. Right through his legs. That's perfect. Okay. You backed him up. Ooh, nice dodge. Oops. Fire! Oh, that that's fine. That's fine. He swung right over the top of you. You got a couple more of those left if you want to use those. 
Nice, ducked his shot. And so now you're kind of seeing probably the uh, the importance of stamina. And when you're fighting this guy, you just want to have a little bit left over so when you attack, you have enough stamina to, to get away too. Oh, that one he got hurt. you with it. Drink up, drink up, buddy! There you go. Now's your time to drink. There we go. You got like one more hit on this guy, so... Please don't die with one hit left. Oh, you got him. He Woo. was gonna crush you right there. <laughs> Woo! Um, you defeated. In the uh, in the Souls world, they call that when he's when somebody is like all up on top of you and you just swing away, hoping that you kill him before they kill you. That's called Yolo strats. <laughs> um, I hate that phrase, but I like. Yeah, it. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a speed running term from. Uh, They'll, they'll refer to strats as different strategies for, for quick ways through areas. And um, when they say, when YOLO strats is like, oh, I just need to hack away and hope that I kill him before he kills me. Yep. Sounds, so, like, a, sounds like a good strategy for me. All right. Cool. I'm going to have you go. There's, there's going to be an NPC that I want you to talk to in a little area up, up here. And then after you speak with him, we're going to call it quits. So pretty, pretty successful uh, second second attempt at, at Dark Souls after getting through the first boss, you've successfully killed the second boss, so... I did it! What, what a better way to phrase that So, up. I'm gonna just tell you, turn right and talk to this guy, and we're gonna quit after we speak to him. This is one of the most popular characters in all of Dark Souls fandom. His name is Solaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I Thanks. am Solaire of Astora. An adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. That seems difficult. You find that strange? I did. Well, you could. <laughs> Thank you. No <laughs> need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. I don't think my face <laughs> changed one bit. <laughs> I like to laugh at Solaire. He's got more to say. Oh, aha. Right. Uh -huh. So I didn't scare you. Well, you did a little bit. A little bit. Position. If you have a moment. Okay. What is my decision? Yes! Proposition? I'm Whoa. not getting on my knees. Jeez. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. Uh, in a land brimming with horrors. that helmet? Could that Just really be a mere <laughs> chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Whoa! Right. This is a real proposition. I know. I'm gonna... Just... This pleases me greatly. Oh! Does it? <laughs> as long as we make soon. eye contact. Uh, White I sign soapstone. We are amidst cool. strange beings in a strange land. One of my favorite lines is coming the up. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain as close in contact. As I Where are you? But use this to summon one another as spirits the next across line. the gaps between the worlds. And engage in jolly cooperation. Jolly, jolly cooperation! Good. Jolly good. <laughs> but I am a warrior of the sun. I thought you wanted your own sun. my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. Ooh. So if you miss it, you must be blind. Yeah, he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when you're in human form, I mentioned this before, but that, what that, um, white soap, white soap stone, what that allows you to do is it leaves your mark down so that people can summon you to help them with um, a boss and you get, you know, rewarded for it. Or if you see other people leave their sign down, they will come and help you. And so that's the, uh, that's the co-op in this game. And yeah, Jolly Cooperation is a very famous line in the Souls series. And I shall be so using it. So look up at the sun there and we'll... we'll oh, what a beautiful sight. Uh, um, that's, I mean, he's just staring at the sun. He's going to go blind. She. Oh, I, I was talking about Solaire. Oh, Solaire yeah, is a he. But yeah, you're hollow. She'll go blind too. <laughs> but I think that'll do it for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. If you want to see all the latest news and notes of what's going on in my gaming world, check out GameWithTheGuys.com or check out Dave's website. AtTheBuzzerShow.com or YouTube.com slash AtTheBuzzerShow. And you can check out, they have new podcasts every Thursday. And I'm an avid listener. I listen all the time. So thanks again everyone. I need to grab this from Dave real quick. Because we have to, I always close it out with just a bow. And I say, once again, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.